Welcome to Electro Online. When it comes to dealing with a series, there are two of them that are the most important series in the whole set. And they are the sum of the integer numbers starting at 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, all the way up to n, whatever n may happen to be. n could be 10, n could be 20, n could be 3, it doesn't matter. Or the series where we have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, all the way up to n squared. Again, n could be any number. It could be 3, it could be 5, it could be 10, it could be 20. Well, it can be written in a short formula equation. This is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2, and this is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. It seems strange, but it's true. And it doesn't matter what the value of n is. Later on, we'll show you how to derive that equation. But now we're going to show you that it actually works by using some examples. Here we're going to let n equals 7. Here we're going to let n equals 5. And you'll find that the left side will indeed equal the right side. So let's try that. On the left side, we're going to write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. And if we add that up, that's 10, that's 15, that's 21, that's 28. And that equals, well, let's see what we get on the right side. So we let n equal 7, so this is 7 times 7 plus 1 divided by 2. Well, this would be 7 plus, no, not 7 plus, but 7 times 8 divided by 2. And finally, this would be 56 divided by 2, which is indeed 28. So 28 equals 28. So it shows that at least for n equals 7, it works. You can try it. It will work for any value for n. Here, let's try this with n equals 5. So here we have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared and that should equal the right side when n is replaced by 5. So this should equal 5 times 5 plus 1 times 2 times 5 plus 1 all divided by 6. So let's see if that's indeed the case. On the left side this is a 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 equals, and so now notice that's 10, that's 30, that's 55 on the left side. So let's see if we get the same thing on the right side when we work that out. So this would be equal to 5 times 6 times 10 plus 1, which is 11, divided by 6. Notice that the 6 cancels out. 5 times 11 is 55, so 55 does indeed equal 55, which means that at least for n equals 5 it works. And you'll find out, try it, it will work for any value for n. So now, whenever you see a series where it looks like this, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so forth, all the way up to n, that this could be replaced by n times n plus 1 over 2. And if you get something that looks like this, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, all the way up to n squared, regardless what n is equal to, that will always be equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Try it. It works for every value. And so therefore, it's important that we remember at least those two particular series because that is going to come up all the time in many situations and that is how it's done.